Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It's been a while. <laughs> Just a little while. Just realised I made a mistake on my knitting. Great. All good. I hope you've had a good start to the new year. I can't believe it's already February because I uploaded nothing in January. Didn't even really, you know, interact with YouTube. There's a lot of comments I still need to respond to. I didn't really do much on Instagram either. There's a lot of people I need to write back to on there. But I just wanted to, before I start releasing my normal kind of videos again, I wanted to just have a little update, kind of explain some things if people are interested. If you're not interested in my life and me, skip this video, watch the podcast episode that should be up in a day or two. So, I am just knitting on my uh, coziest memory blanket. I'm on my fifth square, so this is a free pattern on Ravelry. I'm using 25 millimeter needles and the yarn is all scraps that I've got left over from projects where I've used yarn by the Fiber Fox. So it's been a while <laughs> since I've uploaded. It's been a while since I've really been active on Instagram. And that was all because I've, I got COVID. Of course I did. It had to happen eventually. That's what everyone's been saying to me. It's just really frustrating that it had to happen because I've still been really careful with everything and oh, it just makes me mad. But I got hit with COVID. I flew to Dubai on the 23rd of December, uh, like quite relatively early in the morning and then landed at like 7 p.m. in Dubai. And my parents picked me up from the airport and got back home and just kind of took some time to unpack the important things from my suitcase. AKA yarn for my mom. <laughs> and then it was also a few kind of bits for my dad. Some things that I bought for them, some things that they'd kind of ordered to me and I brought them with me because it was just easier. And yeah, then went to bed and woke up relatively early, like for me early on the 24th, which if you're not aware, for us Austrians and other people as well. But for me, I celebrate Christmas on the 24th. So it's evening time when everyone else is having like Christmas Eve dinner and stuff. That's my actual like Christmas dinner. So I woke up relatively early, went to have, you know, had breakfast with my parents, or at least I sat there, made myself like a little like had like a little bit to eat, but wasn't really feeling it. Assumed it was just because of jet lag and you know, being tired from traveling the day before because it was a pretty exhausting flight. And after like half an hour, I was like, I'm so tired, I need to go back to bed. So went back to bed, slept for like two hours, woke up and felt worse. And that's when I realized I was like, I'm ill. <laughs> I've definitely got something. And at that point, I kind of just hoped that, you know, it was, wasn't Corona, uh, it wasn't COVID, it was something else. Maybe it was just, you know, a bad cold or something. And didn't have a super high fever. It was mainly just really tired and having really sore muscles. Like, that was the biggest thing for me on the 24th. So I spent the 24th in bed, <laughs> mainly sleeping. And normally I'd help mum with cooking the Christmas dinner and, you know, we'd also spend some time watching Christmas movies and knitting together when we have time and didn't get to do any of that. I did sort of manage in the evening to at least, you know, sit down for the meal and for the presents and things like that. But very soon afterwards I went back to bed because <laughs> wasn't feeling very well and then woke up on the 25th and that's when the fever like really kicked in so I spent the 25th just sleeping really occasionally I took some medication just to get my fever down a bit so I had a bit of time where I was just functioning sort of 
and that was like the only time I also managed to do like a little bit of knitting but it just wasn't happening I wasn't feeling well enough so I had done a COVID test when I first fell ill on the 24th and that was negative and it wasn't until like 1am or something on the 26th that I tested positive because my dad was meant to be going back to work on the Monday and I was like you know what like my cough, I think, had sort of started a little bit on the 25th. And I was like, if it's COVID, it would be really stupid if dad then takes it into the office. And that's when it was positive. So my dad didn't end up getting it. My mum did, unfortunately. And we were kind of just... I spent at least three days completely, like, in bed, unable to do anything. And then... I kind of, you know, was able to at least get up a little bit, get my own glass of water, sit on the balcony for a bit, but mainly still just slept. So it wasn't really until January that slowly I was able to do more things, which was a shame. Like COVID, in my opinion, it was really rough and hit me hard. It wasn't just like a cold. And it was a, like, I'm glad I got it while I was in Dubai because, you know, my parents were able to look after me until my mum got ill as well. Then it was just my dad. But I also wasn't alone, whereas if I'd gotten it here in Germany, I live alone. I don't have family nearby. And I wouldn't have, I don't know how I would have gotten through that. I would have found a way, obviously. But it would have been much harder than it was having it in Dubai. And the beauty in Dubai was I also then got to kind of, you know, sit on the balcony and get some sunshine and vitamin D. And I wish I could say fresh air, but it's really like the air is quite dusty in Dubai. So that didn't really work. But the sunshine was good and helped me make me feel better. So COVID sucked. <laughs> and I, I still occasionally struggle with the cough. That's the thing that stuck around the most. And brain fog is also a bit of an annoying thing and just tiredness but then it's also like it's well it's February now but you know January is also just really grey and really cold so who knows what actually was to blame there but yeah Covid was the reason that I then didn't post and release certain videos that I had planned and I still want to release them because it might still interest people. Obviously, no one has to watch the videos if they don't want to. But I thought I'd still release them. But that's why I thought I'd record this video first. Because otherwise, I think it's just weird if I haven't posted in like over a month. And then it's like, oh, look at the Christmas presents I made. And it's like, oh, you're back? Hi. <laughs> so I just thought I'd record this relatively quick video. Um kind of filling in the gap if you will so I spent most of my December in bed and then it was January time when like I said I finally started to kind of feel much better still coughing a lot and it took quite a while until I finally tested negative and could actually you know go somewhere but even then it was I was tired because I was still you know recovering and had been in bed for quite a while so doing things wasn't easy and I got tired really quickly so all the things I'd sort of planned and wanted to do with my parents in Dubai a lot of them just couldn't happen it was fine though and still managed to in the last few days kind of you know go out for breakfast and lunch and do a little bit of shopping go to the beach I didn't go swimming I was just sitting on the sand I think I wanted to do knitting, I ended up just sleeping. <laughs> so it wasn't exactly the holiday I'd hoped for and the Christmas and family time, but it wasn't, it wasn't awful. Just, you know, wasn't as good as I'd hoped it would be because I would have preferred it if I hadn't gotten sick. Uh, you'll see in, so the next video that should come out is a podcast episode, which I filmed back in December. But it's then in the next episode that I just need to film that you'll see all the kind of things that I finished in January. And 
I just kind of noticed after getting COVID that normally, so if you've watched my videos, you know this about me, I have a lot of different projects on the go and I kind of switch between all of them constantly within a given, like within a day. And after COVID, even like in Germany, in uh, Dubai, I was a bit limited with the number of projects I had with me. But even then I tended to like focus on one, finish it, do the next one. And that stuck with me and has been still sticking with me now here back in Germany. And it's just kind of interesting because that's not really who I am. I don't really work monogamously on a project, but I've been doing that a lot more. Typically having one project I'll work on for most of the like week and I'll have maybe a smaller project that I occasionally pick up when I'm like, oh, I'm a bit kind of tired or I can't focus on this project so I'll work on something smaller and yeah it's just a very different knitting style for me that I, I'm just normally not like that so we'll see if it sticks around I doubt it <laughs> and I think it's just because I don't know my brain is just not able to work like it did before so switching between different patterns, I think was just a bit overwhelming and a bit challenging. And so it was just easier just to work on one. That's the only reason I can sort of think of. So I got back on, I think it was the 10th of January or something like that. And I kind of had like these plans of like, oh, I'll release the videos as, so a little bit later, but at least, you know, we'll only be like a week or something late, two weeks. <laughs> And it's fine, but then I kind of noticed how tired I was and how much I was struggling to do things. And I was like, I need to put my time and energy into just everyday life. I can't put it into YouTube. And so I kind of just left it and have been trying to just take things slow. So it is just, you know, like I said, there's a lot of YouTube comments that I haven't had a chance to respond to yet. And I didn't want to just, you know, press the like heart button that you can uh, click on comments so people know you've read it because I was like, I want to actually properly sit down and read these comments and not just, you know, press this button so people are like, oh, she read my comment, finally. I was like, no, it has to be done properly. <laughs> so I haven't gone around to that yet, but I'm going to make time for that this week. And it will probably take me a little while to catch up, but I'm hoping to do that relatively soon, as in completely catch up within like the next few weeks or so. And Instagram as well, like people had messaged me asking if I was okay because I hadn't really been posting on Instagram. And some people who knew I had COVID, I don't, I don't think I shared it on Instagram, but people who um, know me, you know, my personal life, or who follow me on YouTube were then kind of like, oh, so you, I saw you had COVID, hope you're doing okay. And I haven't had a chance to reply to everyone yet. So I'm really sorry if you're one of the people I haven't responded to, but please know I really appreciated the fact that you, you know, reached out and messaged me and I should be able to get back to you soon. But I hope, I hope everyone understands about why I've just had to take things slower. I also kind of noticed when I was back in Germany that Mental health wise, I feel like COVID has hit me quite hard. So I've always had my own kind of mental health struggles for quite a number of years. Even as a kid, I just didn't know it. But I just felt like everything I wanted to do, I just didn't have as much enthusiasm for it. I didn't have, I wasn't as keen to do things. I wasn't as motivated to do things and instead of trying to like constantly question that and figure out what's going on I've kind of just let it be and try to just focus on getting back into a routine and understanding that my body went through a lot with COVID and so it just needs to rest and can't be expected to immediately go back to how things were before and you know my current priority is just to try and look after my health physical and mental and it's been challenging especially because back in 2020 when was it like early summer i think 
I sort of injured, I didn't really injure my back. I had a really bad muscle spasm while I was out cycling and like my whole back seized up. I was on the ground. I've talked about it in a video before. I'm going to detail now, but that still causes me problems. And especially when I lie in bed for a long time or I'm not as active, it really hurts, hurts those muscles and they've really tightened up. And so I've been spending a lot of time trying to massage those knots out and also kind of just do a lot more stretching and exercises to help in that area because it's not actually my back, it's my hips that are the problem. So yeah, there's just a lot of stuff I still need to kind of take care of and so my current thinking is just, I just need to take things slower and that's okay. My knitting isn't really slowing down. <laughs> But I guess in some ways it is, because not switching between projects all the time, it does mean I've been finishing things a lot quicker than I guess I normally would, but at the same time, it also means that there are times where I'm like, I don't really feel like knitting because I don't feel like knitting on that thing. And so I've spent more time reading, but that's also been really nice to get back into that because I used to read so much and I just still haven't found a way of reading while knitting. It's just not as enjoyable as just reading or just knitting. But anyway, I'm getting completely sidetracked now. But just to say, I'm taking things slower. I'm still having a bit of a hard time recovering. And it's also when I first got back, I couldn't immediately go back to working in the yarn shop because my cough was just way too bad. I wasn't infectious anymore because I, was, I wouldn't have flown. But I just didn't have the energy and my cough was so bad. And I was like, oh, imagine if you're a customer. And even though I've always worn a mask in the shop, having someone who's constantly coughing while they're trying to, you know, help you with your problem, it's not exactly nice. And I also wasn't able to talk for all that long before my voice kind of, you know, wouldn't necessarily give out. It would just be kind of like a squeaky teenager, it would be like up and down and <laughs> I'd lose it for a couple of seconds and then it'd be back again, full volume. So I didn't work for a while and did go back, when I did go back to work, the next day I, I barely could move because of the muscles in like my back and hips and stuff. It wasn't good. <laughs> so there's a lot I need to do this year regarding my health and but like with everything else, I just want to take it slow. I don't want to go from one extreme to another. I just want to slowly focus on just being good, being okay. <laughs> so there are quite a few videos I've got planned for this month. We'll see if it all happens. But first thing is the podcast episode. Well, first is this. But first is the podcast episode that I filmed back in January. And... Then there's a German video about all the Christmas like gift knits I did. And then I've got, I'm finally going to be releasing the gift knitting series that I kind of talked about last year, but didn't get around to uh, releasing. Or it's going to be 12 videos for the 12 knits slash days of Christmas. But because I was so ill with Corona, with COVID, I couldn't, bring the videos out. I was like, I can do the couple that I already had edited before I went to Dubai, but then I was like, then the rest of them are just not going to get released for a long time. And I couldn't really film in Dubai because I was ill. So now it's probably only going to be like seven or eight videos, but I was like, who cares? It didn't work out, but I tried and let's just release them anyway. So that will be coming and then it should be kind of plans and make nine for this year an update on how it all went last year and what I've kind of learned and want to take forward. So lots to look forward to. And if it all goes to plan, it means quite a few videos will be coming out in February. And then I should be kind of back to the sort of normal-ish schedule I've had where one week it's a podcast episode, the next week it's a different video. But we'll see if I'm able to maintain that. I'm just not going to put any pressure on myself. I've planned. I've actually planned videos for the entire year. I sat down and had a little planning session and ended up filling my entire calendar. Um, with that kind of schedule of every week releasing a video. Obviously two a week because I do one in English, one in German. But for each language you're getting one a week. 
and I'd like to try and stick to it, but if it doesn't happen, I'm okay with that. It's, you know, the ideas aren't going anywhere and I'll just release them later or next year or something. So we'll see. But that's kind of what's coming up. And I'm excited to kind of get into it, which I really wasn't at the beginning of January. I was just so exhausted and everything just seemed like so much work and I couldn't see the positives and things. So I'm glad I'm getting better in that sense. And I guess the last kind of thing to say is just thank you. Thank you for last year. It was really amazing seeing, you know, the kind of interaction with my channel grow and also my Instagram channel and things like that. And for me, it's never been about the numbers. It's always been about the actual like impact I have on people. So if only like a hundred people ever watch my videos, but they all, or most of them really get something from it. That's all I need or don't even need. That's all I really want. So for me, it's not, and to be honest, when numbers get bigger and you get more and more viewers and things, it can be really hard to stay on top of it. But at the same time, it's just with some of the videos I also released last year with, you know, talking about size inclusivity and stuff. I'm like, I do kind of want that information to get out there. So it kind of becomes more normal, but there's other issues to talk about as well. But anyway, getting sidetracked again. But just so you kind of have a idea of what's been going on in, over the last month and a bit and what you'll hopefully be seeing from me in the future yeah thank you for watching you will see a new video from me hopefully very soon yeah hope you've had a good start to the year and i'll see you in the next video bye